everybody so today i am sharing with you this gorgeous package that i got from australia from a friend named sole i hope i don't butcher your name sole and look at she even added something special for little miss daisy well little miss daisy's not so little little miss daisy is going off to high school this year i feel so mom anyways Let's get into this package. Look at this package. It is super adorable. It's oranges, blood oranges. I don't know. And she sewed the sides and she made this cute little embellishment and just wrapped it up with some ribbon. I really like this ribbon. If you guys ever send me ribbon, I keep it. I, I mean, do you guys keep it? I'm sure as crafters, we keep everything. That little rosette, I think I'm going to add it to a tag and give it to... Daisy's teacher for the end of the year. It's really pretty. I really like it. And I was trying not to rip it apart because I really, I really loved the sewing. I really thought it was adorable and I wanted to see if I can reuse it. But I couldn't open it without it having to rip it. So sorry. But I, I really liked this package. I think I'm just gonna go and do some die cut um cut out the oranges and make them into die cuts but in this beautiful package came this it almost looked like a purse it just needed the little um tassel to hold it i mean the shoulder bag thing to hold it but i was scared i thought it was glued but i'm so happy it was velcro look at this it's a bunch of envelopes from what it looks like into a little book and look at this shaker. It's super cute, very bright. I love that. I have nothing in those neon colors. So this is really pretty. I, I really like that. An, an embellishment. Look at, isn't that cute? A flower die. This I've never seen this die. Again, I don't know all the dyes in the world, but this one is really pretty and I love the color combination that you used. And then each of these little pockets has something cute in it look at donuts notes and it's a donut and then it has frosting they're notepads i think they're so cute excuse me i think the ac in my face is getting to me um and then there's a little piece of tool in that one i like it it has like glittery pieces and then this one what is this it's like i'm still looking at it but i think they're little little um stickers and then in this pocket Lots of little trinkets and gems and bows, and I love that. That is so cute. And what was this in the very back? Ooh, cute. More little gems. I love how it's not super thick. Whenever I make it, it's super chunky and thick. And I love this one because it actually closes up. Look at that. I need to be more detailed, more, um get better at making flat embellishments so that my stuff closes loved it super cute super adorable and flat and then this one look at that ballerina girl i want to say this is chasing dreams i think so look at that isn't it pretty very simple very chic very i don't know i can't i clean cut and it's an envelope and it came with these sticker this sticker pad and I think it's so cute look at it almost gives off a Maggie Holmes vibe and if you do that on purpose matching like Maggie Holmes stuff with this collection girl you were spot on this is really cool where did you get this of course in Australia but I mean I love how close it is to Maggie Holmes stuff hmm looking at it right now as as I'm doing a voiceover on this because I was annoyed with myself every, when I was opening this I was like how cute I, th I think I recorded myself saying how cute uh, more than a hundred times and I didn't want to do that anyway so she sent me some of those gold doilies I love the size of that going to make some bag toppers with that and then this this pretty gem let's see what you are let us see again i didn't want to rip the tissue because i wanted to make little some kind of flowers with it but <clears throat> i couldn't i couldn't so let's let's just open this and see the beautiful item she created look at 
this it's a book isn't it cute and let me tell you it's not a chipboard book it's just a like it's pages it's paper it's she did some sewing detail on the bottom i love that her embellishments are not chunky again i'm trying to work myself into making flatter embellishments for mailing purposes or for certain things but it is hard it's not as easy as i thought it would be the same as it's not easy making chunky embellishments anyway so it looks like this collection is the same one of the stickers and the pa you can see she mixed and matched some of the papers from the maggie holmes collection and then this and it works really well i love these giant crepe paper rosettes and then this gla glassine kind of envelope did you make it because it looks really good anyways inside is what is inside oh yeah some ephemera that she put together that come in the maggie holmes collection bloom collection open book and just extra ones that actually match i love that that you mix and match different thing collections to make it look like this it's beautiful it's stunning i can't i can't get over this collection that's not maggie holmes but i don't know what it is it's just it's like a like a little girly version of it i i don't know it, it's i absolutely love it and then this oh um i'm looking at it it's this is actually in my hand and it says at the very back it says it's from aldi we have a grocery store here named Aldi, and if it's from that grocery store, um, I did not know they sold paper crafting stuff. I've seen their their office supply aisle, but not. I didn't know they sold crafty stuff. So if your Aldi in Australia sells, if it's the same store and it sells crafty stuff, you got really blessed because they don't have that here. And that's only in California because I'm in Oregon and they don't have that here in Oregon. I love those bags, the star one, and then this, it looks like you could put your your coffee, your tea in there, and then poke a straw, kind of like 90s summertime, playing outside with your drink, kind of. And then here's a little pocket, and I've already read the letter after I recorded this, so this is my favorite part of when there's happy mail. I loved your letter. Thank you so much. I feel so honored and blessed that you have written to me and told you know told me all the stuff that going on in your life and I feel so blessed like I said for you to share that with me um, I am keeping you in prayers and I can't wait for you to receive the package that I'm sending you so on the right side there's different kinds of bows and then there's this little package and it has this really cute paper clip at first I thought you made it you probably did you probably added the bow and the heart um, I had never seen a paper clip like that but that is such a cute way, focus, there we go, to alter a paper clip. I love it. It's sitting on my desk holding nothing just so I can look at it because I think it's really cute. And matching it with that flower, again, you have a good eye for matching things together. And then these are kind of the cutouts uh, that go into like the memory keeping books. Beautiful. I think this is the Bloom collection. Or, nope, it's the Gather collection. Well, some mix and match, I think. But I don't have this, and so thank you very much. I only have open book one. I think it's really pretty. Thank you. Again, I can't get over how easily you match things up. And then, what is on the next page? Oh, okay flowers some embellishment flowers i love getting these i actually do use these and thank you i'm sitting here looking at the book as i'm doing a voiceover because i like it and i touch everything i look at the bottom has stitching detail each page has some stitching on it some type of um different kind so that's like a straight edge and then a zigzag edge and I love it and then thank you again for I mean we just did a simple swap and you overdid it I hope mine exceeds to your liking as well and then I'm not gonna open that little Daisy one until tonight so let's see what Daisy opens 
Okay, guys. And she was half asleep. She's opening her package. And she squealed when she saw this. She thought it was so cute. She likes puffy stickers. And they're all over her folder. They're all over her, her stuff. She likes to make her friends little letters. And she's one of the last kids that actually writes letters instead of texting. So... I mean, she texts too, but she's a little bit of both. She really loved the popcorn one. She thought that that was adorable. She kept on squeak, squealing and being like, oh my gosh, how cute. But again, thank you, Soleil, Sola, Soleil. Please, I'm so sorry. But thank you for um, sending her something little. She loved it, as you can see. And I thank you guys for stopping by. Bye, guys.